we saw the Asus Zenfone 3 announced at Computex and finally it has reached Malaysian shores. Now we saw it at the local launch and now we have it in our hands. So, what does Asus have to offer with its latest flagship? I'm Alicia from KL Gadget TV and let's unbox the final version of the Asus Zenfone 3. Now here is the packaging of the Zenfone 3 in a minimalistic matte glittery black box with the model name embossed in gold. Now I feel it looks quite similar to another brand though, so if you can guess which one I'm talking about. Now anyway, on the back of the packaging has all these barcodes and stuff and with these tiny tiny words that says the specs of the unit which says here this device is in gold colour with 64 gigs of internal storage and it's a 5.5 inch device. Now, Asus always had these confusing codes to differentiate its models, and this year is the Zek E552KL model. Now, let's open this up. It's quite hard. There, this year is the Asus Zenfone 3. Now, let's take out the phone. I have to tip it over, it's quite hard. Put it aside. Now, what we have here is probably the paperwork. Let's open it up. Yep. There. This is the manual and some IME numbers. Okay. And here is the SIM tray ejector. A really cute one. I have no idea how to get it out. Put it out. It's really small, so be careful not to lose it. Okay. Now inside we have the usual stuff. Now this here is a USB to a Type-C cable. So this shows that it will be using Type-C to charge. Okay, one side. And we have the charger, earbuds, a set of earbuds, and some replacement rubbery thingies. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's move on to the phone itself. Now this baby features a 5.5 inch display with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on both sides. Here and here and matte aluminum finishing for its frame. Now, although the whole glass and metal style feels quite like the latest Samsung phones, Asus has included its own signature concentric circle pattern. See here? All the metal areas behind this glass to sort of give it its own branding style. Now, on the front here, we have the capacitive home, back and system tray buttons, and an f2.0 8-megapixel front camera here at the top. Looks like there is also a front LED flash too. Now on the back, we have the f2.0 16 megapixel camera that can also shoot 4K videos. Now dual tone flash and here is the fingerprint scanner. Now there is quite a camera bump here though. Anyway, this time Asus has removed the volume rocker from the back and placed it on the sides instead. Here, just next to the power button. Now on the other side here, we see the SIM tray. Now let's pop it open. And here what we see is a hybrid SIM slot, which means you can use either two SIMs or one SIM and one micro SD. Now the Zenfone 3 offers up to 256 gigs of micro SD support on top of another 32 gig or 64 gig internal storage options. On the top here, is the microphone jack and at the bottom is the speaker grill. Now it looks like Asus has changed and is using now the USB Type-C charging port which is quite a surprise move since this type of port is not as common yet. Now good thing with Type-C ports is that the data transfer rate is much faster than the micro USB. Now let's boot this baby up now. Now the Asus Zenfone 3 comes with Android Marshmallow out of the box and is powered by a Snapdragon 625 chip and 4 gigs of RAM. Well, for this particular unit, that is. Now looking at the interface, we see the usual Asus Zen UI, which is previously known to be quite a heavy UI. Now we swipe here. Now looking at all these preloaded apps that came with the UI, it looks like Asus has cut down on the number of bloatware. However, we still see Bloatware, which such as the mini movie, there is the puffin, there is also the Zen Care and Zen Talk and whatnot, but it feels less heavy compared to the previous Asus phones. 
I still remember having these individual ASUS apps for different functions of the UI. However, this time we don't see these individual apps to update that individual function. So it should be faster and less heavy when it comes to using it. Now the Zenfone 3 is fitted with a 3000 mAh battery which can hopefully support this heavy UI. Now let's see if it has a quick charge function or not. So let's just plug this thing in and it's charging now. So does it say quick charge? It looks like it does not mention whether it's quick charging or not but on paper ASUS has mentioned that it does have a quick charge function. So we probably will be able to check that out when we do the full review. Now we did the hands-on of the Zenfone 3 when we were at Computex, which you can also view the video in our channel. But anyway, there's one thing I would like to check. Let's see. Camera. Apparently they have actually included more features for the camera. Let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 different functions of the camera, which is a lot. I hope this will not make the camera lag, but we will test it when we do the full review. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the Asus Zenfone 3. Now do check back our channel for our review or maybe some comparisons with this device. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel over here so you won't miss out on our videos and follow us on social media here. So till the next video, this is Alicia signing off. Bye!